Jewish rabbi Winston, a famous rabbi who has published more than 50 books, answers a question asked about when will and how will the Jewish authorities gain control over the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Rabbi Winston gave a shocking answer stating a contest between the Jewish and the Muslims will decide the Temple Mount control and whoever loses this contest will convert to the winning religion. What kind of contest did Rabbi say will end the problem on the Temple Mount? Greetings brothers and sisters, knowledge is power here. Jewish people are eagerly waiting to build the third Jerusalem temple. Bible believing Christians all over the world is hearing the news about Jerusalem and about the plan for constructing the third Jerusalem temple. As we are all eagerly waiting for Jesus Christ's second coming, one of the most important steps towards building the temple is to have a control over the Temple Mount, which is now currently controlled by the Jordan Muslim authorities. Israel is slowly taking over the control over the Temple Mount, and the Muslim peoples, the Muslim authorities, are started to recognize the moves of the Israel, and they are counter planning. And one of the counter plan of the Muslim authorities is right now Joe Biden is now against the move of Israel taking over the Temple Mount. This is what the article says. Biden reaffirms Jordan's role overseeing Temple Mount. President Joe Biden is reaffirming his administration's support for Jordan's long-running role as the custodian of Muslim holy sites at the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. So Barack Obama wants his puppet Joe Biden to support Jordan and many Jewish rabbis and authorities are not happy with this move by the American government. So top scholar Jewish rabbi Winston was asked a question. How can the Jewish authorities get the Temple Mount control? And with this ongoing political situation and rift between the two communities, the rabbi was asked how can they get back, how can the Jewish people get back the Temple Mount control? And Rabbi Winston starts with the past history in the year 1967, the Six Day War, when Israel won and captured Jerusalem. The political atmosphere in 1967 was so pro Israel that if Israel has declared a dominion on the Temple Mount after the victory, the other nations would have supported them and even called for us to build the Temple in Jerusalem. But Moshe Dayan, the Israel political leader at that time, made a big blunder by relinquishing the Temple Mount control. And because of that big mistake, Israel authorities couldn't get the Temple Mount control till date with the Muslim rebels fighting for the Temple Mount. Rabbi Winston sees the current events and interprets the solution to the Temple Mount problem with a book called Midrash. Uh, Midrash is a book just like a Bible commentary but it is written by a uh, Jewish people interpreting the scriptural text and this Midrash was written uh, after thousand years of Christ's resurrection and in the Midrash it is mentioned that in the end days the sons of Ismail who are Muslims will invite the Jewish for a contest that who can bring fire from heaven a similar contest mentioned in the Old Testament, one held by Elijah and the priest of Baal on Mount Carmel. Elijah versus 400 prophets of Baal, each prepared to sacrifice and call upon his God to bring fire from heaven and to consume their sacrifice. The prophets of Baal cried out to their God, but nothing happened. Then Elijah called upon the true God Yahweh and fire came from heaven and burnt up the sacrifice. Then Israel killed all the 400 prophets of Baal. 
So this is what strikes in our mind when Rabbi Winston says there will be a contest between Muslims and Jewish on who would bring fire from heaven. But many people will think that Jewish people will call upon the God and fire will come from heaven. The book of Midrash states the fire will come down and from heaven and consume the sacrifice of the Muslims, indicating their sacrifice will be accepted and not the Jewish one. And that's a shocking one for all of us. This is what Rabbi says about this incident. This will be the final test of the Jewish people. Rabbi Winston said, many will convert but a small contingent will call out, Hear O Israel, God is our Lord, God is one. They will go out into the desert. Messiah will be among them. 45 days later, things turn, turn around and in the end it is clear that the Jewish are the God's chosen. So it will be a small group that hangs on faithfully, Rabbi Winston said. But Midrash is a book written from a Jewish perspective thousand years after Christ's resurrection. We don't believe in Midrash but we believe in the Bible and Bible says in Revelation 13 the second beast who is called as the false prophet has the power to bring fire from heaven. This is what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 13 verses 13 to 14. He performs great signs so that he, so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs. So in the future, this event will definitely happen as prophesied in the Bible. The false prophet will bring fire down from heaven. But we don't know whether he is a Muslim or a Jew or some other. But obviously the false prophet, the second beast is going to deceive the whole world by bringing fire from heaven. But will there be any contest? Who knows, that's not written in the Bible. But this is the sort of things Christians should be watching for the end times, ways that Bible prophecies will be fulfilled. In the end times, there will be a great revival. In Daniel chapter 12 says knowledge will be increased. But Satan will also deceive the whole world with false signs and wonders. He will deceive many. Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 to 4, there will be a great falling away from faith. Hope we all stay awake and read our Bible and never be deceived and enter the ark of the God which is called the rapture before God's wrath unleashes on the earth. Alright brothers and sisters, take care. See you soon. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Maranatha.